All right, guys. Happy Monday, March 7th. It is, I believe, the beginning of spring. It looks like we're going to get a lot of really uh, warm weather coming our way this week, which is fantastic. I mean, I guess good news because we're going to be doing a lot of running. Right? Everyone loves running. Anyways, um, we're going to talk about the workout quick today and then go on. Uh, great work to everyone that did 16.2 on Friday or repeated again. Um, there were some awesome performances. I'm proud of all of you guys. Uh, everyone pushed really hard. Some PRs, and some people were a little disappointed with their scores, but that's kind of how it goes. Um, but I know uh, I'm confident saying everyone definitely gave it their all, and I'm very proud of you guys for that. Um, we're going to talk about the workout today. So, again, we're still geared towards and focusing on the open, um, knowing that, again, you know, so uh, toes to bar, uh, squat cleans, and those kinds of things are now out of the mix. Um, we're going to, again, keep eliminating those things that we know are more than likely, I mean, Castro's done crazier things before, I think, but more than likely not going to show up again. Um, and we're going to keep focusing on those. So warm up. We still need to keep some of these exercises in, even though they're gone from open, uh, open contention. So we're going to accumulate 30 strict chest-to-bar pull-ups. If you can't do strict chest-to-bar, you're just going to do a strict pull-up. Uh, double overhand, try to get your chin up as hard as you can. If that's very difficult, chin up. If that's difficult, you can do negatives or ring rows. Again, work with your coach. Uh, 20 thrusters with an empty barbell or a, a nominal weight, 75 or 95 for you. Again, depending on how you want. This is just supposed to be a warm-up. Um, 10 burpee pull-ups. These are burpee into a jump on the bar, kipping swing pull-up, chest to bar again if you feel good about it, and then five wall walks. You can mash that up in any combo that you want. Um, just to get nice and warm with those movements. Um, for the strength skill work today, um, it's going to be a little different again. So we're back to uh, every 90 second uh, cycle. For a total of 10 cycles, it's going to be 15 minutes. We're going to go through, and it's going to be 16 wall balls, 6 hang power cleans, and a muscle up. Um, so 16 wall balls is about 30, 40 seconds of work. 6 hang power cleans is going to be about 20 seconds of work by the time you get to it. Um, and then a muscle up will be really, really tight. Again, a lot of you guys are going to be asking, what do I do? I don't have muscle ups. Again, work with your coach on this part. Uh, the goal here is for the people that do have muscle ups and are in that range uh, for the open, that you can work on hitting muscle ups under fatigue. If you don't have a muscle up, some options, you can do a strict pull up or a kipping pull up, whatever your most difficult option is. You can do a bar muscle up. So when it doesn't say bar uh, and I just write muscle up in the workout, or they have muscle up, it denotes ring muscle ups. Uh, you can do a bar muscle up or a chest to bar, or a muscle up progression, or depending on where you are, you can just cut that muscle up part out completely. That's why the muscle ups are there in brackets, all right? So work with your coach to make sure that you have a scaling or a version of this EMOM that's going to be appropriate for you. It doesn't mean that you have to substitute it with three pull ups and three dips or whatever version that you might have seen online. For the purpose of this workout, make sure that you have something that makes sense for you because you need to be having about 30 seconds rest between each uh, cycle. And it is going to be tight unless you're uh, very strong in these movements. All right. Um, for the Metcon today, it's a 12 minute AMRAP. Um, you're going to notice the numbers are big. That is intentional. Um, if you have to break things up first round, that's okay. You need to make sure that you can at least do uh, about half of the given number of the first things in a row. And what I mean by half. Kettlebell swings, uh, everyone can do in a row. Uh, the workout is AMRAP, 12 minutes of 15 handstand push-ups, 20 overhead squats, and 25 kettlebell swings. Um, so you need to make sure you can at least do, you know, eight of whatever version of handstand push-up you're going to do, whether it's kipping or strict, um, at least 10 overhead squats in a row, and the kettlebell swings will be fine for everyone. So 12-minute AMRAP, try to move nice and steadily through these. Uh, Practice um, the same technique that you would use on an open in terms of range of motion, the same way you would set up um, for the handstand push-up, for the overhead squat, uh, for the kettlebell swing, all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's it. All right. Hope you guys have an awesome workout, and uh, we will see you again tomorrow.